<laughs> Welcome back to Dinosaur Planet, where we hate our lives. Thank you, Sonic, for this gift. So, I had a thing I want to talk to you about, Joe, and I, you, I know you kind of don't care. Before we get on this, yes. I kind of swore the point of this level was to follow the pterosaur. Just for a little... I'm pretty sure they made that clear. I, I did started not... paying attention after the last two pot-breaking levels. I did not read it. I can't... I can't... You know what? But, Remind... I will... I will... Watch it, and I'll put in a thing, if that's what it said. Yeah, um, sure. Maybe. <laughs> I was just like, I, I haven't seen... I haven't even seen a pterosaur. Maybe. There might I don't know what... I don't even know. I'm not a dinosaur. I don't know what they Pterosaurs mean. Pterosaurs fly. It's, it's one of those. I thought it was it's pterodactyl. Like or aerodactyl, like the Pokemon. I'm fairly certain that's Speaking of RPGs, I'm also a so. Oh, hello. Oh, gosh. Uh, so the new Fire Emblem game came out today, right? Oh, yeah. You're um, bummed you couldn't play that. I, yeah, I was like, oh, I can't play games. I gotta play games instead. But, like, actually, this game sucks, so kind of kind of bummed. Um, yeah. But, um, so. Back, 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 back. Fucking Fire Emblem Echoes Shadow of Valentia came out. It's a remake of the second Fire Emblem game on NES. Um, so it's like a more, you know, hardcore. Old school Fire Emblem. But, like... See, my problem is... The oh. Fire Emblem oh. has probably the worst fan base out of all great franchises. <laughs> like, really? um, they're very elitist. You know, you sent me that one thing about Fates. Uh, and I, even my my Yoda of the Dom video and Fire Emblem video, uh, like, combined, like, they were just, like, super, super... Most of my comments are literal, like, ten paragraph tirades of how one sen sentence of it didn't make sense. And I'm like, okay, but like, it was about like, Fates had some, Fates siblings had villains, like they were villains, but they were like good people and I could see them doing better than me leading a country than even the main character. Which might be a, a flaw of the plot, but it's still, like I believe that to be true. And I was like, and in Yona, they also have this villain who, you know, is kind of gray and say, oh, he, he killed a guy, but he killed the king, but He's actually doing a good job as king, so it's like, oh, I have no problem with it. Anyway, so that caused a tirade of comments. It's a hundred thousand view video, you know, the, the normies came to it. <laughs> Attracted the normies. But, anyway, so Valentia came out, and I'm you know, watching reviews. GameStop gave it a good review, like 9 out of 10. IGN was like an 8, 7.8 out of 10. Um, because, you know, it's kind of old school, so it's a little archaic in its game mechanic, I guess. I'm probably going to love it. I haven't pre-ordered it anyway. Um... <clears throat> but, so, I see, I read in the comments, like, finally, Fire Emblem isn't the worst thing ever anymore since Fate's and Awakening because of the <laughs> waifu stuff, right? Oh, plot, plot, plot! Hold on, pause your waifu bullshit. I'm glad Eggman's dead. That was... I'm glad we stopped. I'm glad the pronoun... Mm. <sighs> Is that his mouth? Look at that big gaping hole. I can't he tell. See, this I mean, opacity is stupidly really, like. Sure, fidelity. It was never meant to play on this big of a screen. Also, it's shit. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> wait. Are you being fair in your criticism? <laughs> no. Okay. Wow. Nothing happened. Yeah, I'm um, really glad that I guess. So. We, the point of that was the Kings with us now? Yes. So, uh, sure. and people, again, the hardcore fans are excited that this game is, like, back to the basics and focuses on, you know, whatever. I'm like, yeah, I agree. My, I love Fire Emblem because it's a fun game. But it's like, Fire Emblem of Fates and Awakening still had that. They complain about, like, the marriage and all that. But it's like, older Fire Emblem, okay, here, here, give me some, <laughs> give me some groundwork. I played, I played 7 and 8 first, which... Seven's my favorite Fire Emblem. With Lin and Hollywood, they're the best. It's the best Fire Emblem, in my opinion. Um, then I played uh, Shadow Dragon, which is the remake of the first game, with Marth. And then I played Awakening, Fates, and now I'll play this game. And people are mad, like, you're not a real Fire Emblem fan unless you play the Japanese games that were never released here. I'm like, wait, you expect me to, like, pirate to be a real fan? Like, I don't understand. Like, oh, only if. Only <laughs> if. Anyway, so... Those older games still had a support system, there's just no marrying and kids. And it's like, one thing, like, about that is like, it doesn't take away from, like, the actual mission. It's just, like, extra content. And it's, so it's like, I don't know how it distracts. I guess you don't, it's a lot of filler you don't like, but, like, the core game's still there. Like, 
Mm-hmm. Fire Emblem Fates Conquest is like what some of the best map design in any Fire Emblem game, let alone the newer ones on 3DS when it got, you know, because it's mainstream now. It's Nintendo's like most popular thing. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> You're dead. That's what I hear every time. You're dead, stupid. But yeah, so uh, now that it's normie, they hate it. Uh, anyway, I like Fates. It's a fun game. I can see why. There's like a lot of superfluous stuff, but on the same breath, they complain about there being all this extra fluff. They also complain about localization taking out a lot of the extra fluff in Fates. Because they had a, like, they, the Japanese version of Fates has a lot of weird, more pervy stuff in it than with doing the waifu. So like, one hand, oh, we hate the waifu stuff. On the other hand, we hate that they took out all the waifu stuff. It's like, well, what do you want? They hate, like, because I guess they censored the game. It's like, but you hate that part of the game. You hate, that's the part you hate, right? Like, you hate all the stuff that they, they, they left out anyway. Because they left out, there's a mini game in the Japan version where you can literally pet, like, your waifu's face. I, I think I've seen some of that. Right, and everyone's freaking out. Like, they're still freaking out. That's why I was, that's why I thought of this, because I'm reading the reviews, and then... I'm looking at the comment section, uh, and they're like, I will never buy another final game because of the, the localization of Fates. Like, I don't understand this. <laughs> uh, so I'm not having a good time with this. <laughs> like, like, I just... <laughs> we're, we're almost at seven episodes. We're at four episodes. <laughs> I have to do this level. I have to write this stupid log. But I can't fucking... I was not having a good time reading these comments, so I'm right there with you. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't get the, like, again, Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE, which is a Fire Emblem spinoff, um, localized, they censored some of the outfits, right? So, okay. they're less revealing. Only thing they censored, really, was that it's a less pervy game. And it's like, the only reason to be mad at this is if you want to get off on the game. And so you don't care about gameplay, obviously. <laughs> like, clearly you don't care about gameplay. A lot of, and it just doesn't make sense to me. Tommy, what if they want both? They're, they're still not. hot! Like, they're still <laughs> the same body type! Ugh. Once you get the clothes off, they're still the same! That's fucked up. I don't know. Can I, go this I really this hate. Way? I don't understand. I, what, like, you, you go. I don't. The, Fire Emblem Fates is a funny, quirky, well written game, in my opinion. They just take out some things in it. And it's like SJW, and like, I, I've had enough of this. There's, there's a middle ground of hating SJWs and just being annoying. Like, <laughs> just being annoying. And now you're not gonna buy this new game because it's been localized. I don't even understand what that means. And it's like, this game actually yeah. goes back to the core that you like, right? No, you just a hypocrite, an idiot, and like to complain on the internet. Fire Emblem fans, this is how they all are, and they're just. No one's ever a true fan unless you started back in 1992 or whatever when the first one came out on NES. No one's ever a real fan unless you hate the new games. It's like, how about you... The game's essentially the same, except with extra stuff. But, like, if you go into a mission, it's the same game. People complain in Awakening you could grind, you know, levels. Well, guess what? You can do that in Fire Emblem 8, too, Sacred Stones. You can grind and go in the overworld, and you can go and... Fight random monsters and you can grind. It's just as easy as a game. Mm-hmm. And I agree, Fire Emblem 7 probably is the best story out of all of them, and that's my favorite one. That game's cool because, like, like there's a they added a prologue tutorial levels to the game um, to for the American version because they thought it was the first Fire Emblem game to ever come here. And they thought we were too stupid to get it. But, like, they added a new story, a new backstory to it, so they made it fun. And then... You play through the game, you beat it. It's a great game. Um, great story, whatever. And then you have the options, when you play it again, to A, skip the prologue, and B, pick a new path with a new character in the second half. I'm like, this is awesome! Ugh. And people don't like it? People don't like the prologue. Oh. Because, you know, it's dumbing it down for the Western audience. And, and it's just like, yeah, but then you never have to do it again after you do it once. Literally, you play the prologue once forever, and you never have to play it again. And it's it adds story, and adds back, it adds fun. Especially for me, that was my first Fire Emblem game. It was perfect, which makes sense. It's the first one in America. Yeah. Anyway. That, hey, Tommy, you're a real fan unless you uh, get a Japanese console. and. Uh... You're not a real fan unless you 
Like, I, I'm sorry, I don't have an option. Like, it wasn't really a thing. It's not, I mean, I do have an option, but I don't, I don't emulate games. Like, we, we won't emulate games on this channel ever. Um, and it's just like, Ooh, shit. It's not even, like, a thing of, like, I'm against stealing. It's, like, I just want to play the game how it's intended. That's true. But, and now with this Echoes uh, oh, sub wow. thing, they're going to be remaking more Fire Emblem games, which is exciting. Now I get to experience what the hardcore old school fans love so much. And I'm sure they're going to be great games because I love Fire Emblem. And it's... <laughs> you can't be angrier. You're allowed to be angry. <laughs> Story. You don't scream? You don't scream? No, I'm just getting progressively more sad. <laughs> <laughs> the first game! You've done it! Hey, at least you got one of the fire tokens. <laughs> you're like... You're like red. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's, ma that's mainly it. That's mainly my issue is like... The complaints about localization make no sense. Either way... The, Nintendo did not localize this new game anyway. And that's what they were complaining about, Nintendo's localization of Fire Emblem Fates. I can see not locking Fates' story. I can see that. Like, the story's not the best thing ever, but it's like... The game is still Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the, you know, the... Yeah. I don't know, is it RTS, kind of? It's Matt, I, like, I haven't played games. RTS-RPG, yeah. But, like, I've, you know... Strategy I've RPG, yeah. Before. I know yeah. what you do, more or less. Yeah. It's the same, it's literally the same, same game. And Conquest has really good map design. And the characters are likable, still. Still likable. Like, ugh. I don't know. It just bugs me. Like, just how elitist they all are. About it. And, and also, and by, all of Branch, right? All of Branch. I also don't like the, the Fire Emblem fans that are like, only in it for the waifu. Like, that's all, like, they don't even know how to play the game, they just play for the waifu. <laughs> Like, they play it on cas- see, they play it on casual mode, and they, you know, so no one dies permanently. They have Phoenix mode, so you don't even die- they don't even die permanently for the whole match. And they just go for the, the waifu. Yes, okay, I'm with you. But if you play the game on the normal setting, like, it's- it's essentially the same game still. May- I mean... Maybe less refined? I don't even know. It's just a lot of extra stuff to distract from it, but luckily the game's still the same. I liked Fates, I liked Awakening, but I like Seven, I like Sacred Stones, I like... And why I'm calling Seven is that in America it doesn't have a subtitle, it's just Fire Emblem, because it was the first one. Hmm. I, li I liked uh, Shadow Dragon, not as much as the other ones. And I can't, I can't get the GameCube and Wii games legally without spending literally 150 bucks on each one. Yeah. They're very rare, and I just wasn't into it back then. So it's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I pop, we might play 7 on this. I don't know. I have it on Wii U Virtual Console. Good. I would be down for a little slower. I'd be down for a slower game after this. You'd be down for any game after this, really. Yeah. I'd be glad we're playing it better. That's my rant. What the fuck was going on with the camera? Just yeah, there, the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing. Sorry. In IGN's review, they gave it a lower score. And of course, people, you know, the popcorn fans think the review is garbage. Um, I haven't played what? the game yet, so I don't. What? You have to jump? Nope. What the f Okay, I'm backing up, I think. <laughs> what? what? How? Just, it just leads me to a cactus. Can I turn right? No. <laughs> All right. I don't have any rings left. I can't afford to touch this thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Go right? No? I, I can't. There's no steering in this game. You just... Play all the controller around and hope you win. No, okay. What are you supposed to do there? I don't know. I literally spent this whole episode doing this level, by the way. Uh, have you? <laughs> I've so. been in my rant the whole time. Yeah. Oh, um, poor yeah. Joe. Fucking poor audience. Jesus. I don't know. You have to play it. They don't have to play the game. They got it's to. True, they got to be... listen to me talking about Fire Emblem. It's true, but this is gonna be torture to watch. I'm really, and also they should be excited. I think maybe not. I can see, like, if you actually do hate the direction the franchise is going, that more games like it makes you hate it. I can, like, respect that. I just don't know why you hate it. It's not that different. But whatever. Let's say you do, and it's fine. Whatever. Like, maybe it being more popular, because you're getting... This franchise used to be this, like... at In threat of, like, ending forever. 
viral. It almost forever ended before Awakening. And it's like you should be happy your franchise is like getting like a support of Nintendo's like triple A like focus now. It's you get nine games a year. It's I don't know. I'm happy that does, yeah they made a lot of fucking viral. Yeah, they have uh, they had so they had Fates last year, which was three games. They had the uh, mobile game this year. They have Shadows of Valentia, which comes out today as recording. It'll probably be later. Uh, this is much later in the future when we upload this. And um, and then they have uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, a spin-off game. Oh, yeah. You did just give them the exact day we recorded this, by the way. That's fine. And then Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, which is a spin-off game. And then a Switch game announced for the main Fire Emblem series next year. It's like, awesome! If the... You know, and I think about Valentia, this new one is, the, the game, the combat's actually, the game's probably more different than any other Fire Emblem game in the series, because it's, it's, I think in Japan it was called Fire Emblem Gaiden when it was originally released, and Gaiden means, like, oh. spin-off. Yeah. Um. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine, you're playing, I feel bad for you. I'm glad I got you to play this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is? What are you even breaking? Nothing's in there. There was a cage that I was breaking for some reason. I don't fucking know why. <laughs> an empty cage. And um, an empty treasure chest. Um, and the treasure chest. I'm games. excited. For, anyway, to long and short, I'm excited for this game, and localizing it should not stop you from being excited. Maybe if you hit the log, and it like rolls. Hit it. I don't know. I don't. You, that's you guys, right. I don't control forward. That's no right. You have no. <laughs> it just goes. Hey, jump. I can jump, but I'll just jump over the log. Yeah, jump over the log, and then hold your jump really long. Stop sliding forward, please. Yes! Oh, that's so dumb. Yes! Go! No! 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 <laughs> I may have peaked the mic. Peek the mic, ridiculous. How you feeling, Joe? Not happy. I'm a little, a little upset. <laughs> okay. A little annoyed. How about we, sp like, speed up? Well, no, because you're talking. No, I, I'm done. I'm just excited for Valentia, and if you're a Fireman fan, you should be, and localization should not stop you. That's really it. And, uh, whatever. I'm done with my rant. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll just speed up until... <laughs> what song should we play? <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. Remember. Okay, so I gotta like quick jump this and long jump and jump. Oh, that's the worst. Okay, remember, then, remember. This, this. We're just gonna press one. We're speeding this up anyway. It'll look fast. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's another one. one. Oh, I thought the game crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. Finally. Next time. Oh. Next time one. Sonic the shit ring of shit. Uh, uh, did that take you two hours or two minutes? <laughs> Not like two hours. Two and a half minutes. Because it's just counting this one. Uh, wow. Yeah, that was draining. This game's draining. I don't know how many more we can do. Ugh. That was... Well, we're four episodes in. Yeah. Ugh. 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 Also, new mission. Yay. One. Several of them. Twenty. Do you have to do that for everyone? Okay, I'm gonna get like those saltines or whatever. I need like something to just like energize me a little bit. At least we're still in dinosaur jungle. Oh, that's almost called rampage. <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs>